Episode 8 Chaos and Serenity. In the mind of Walter Grisby, he is intercepted by his ancestor. Walter, your ancient. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, where am I? Who are you? What's going on? Walter, your ancient power has been released. Now you must seek and destroy your rival. Rival? What? This is your arrival. Christian Chandler, you two were liable to previous lives, and you still are. Uh, okay. He did have a hint of jealousy against me, but anyway, what do I do? What, 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 what? what? Release the power of your fire shock pendant by centering your anger and shout, Fire burn off! Transform now, and we'll begin training. Okay. Fire burn off! <laughs> West lies, silence you. Alright then, let the training begin. Meanwhile, in Nicole's mind... Whoa, what happened to my room? Who are you? I'm the, Kore I'm the queen of the Cherokee clan. My husband was the leader. Okay, why am I here? The ancient powers of me, my husband, and this rival were just released. You have been bestowed with the lightning bracelets. I wonder why these things are on my arms. You must use the power to bring serenity between my husband's reincarnation and his rival. Also, you three must work together to stop the evil that was also released. Mm, how will I recognize your husband's soul? His soul belongs to a friend of yours. Now cross your bracelets and say, Graceful lightning to transform. I will teach the powers. Then you must bring peace to the world, Nicole Rammer. Wow. This is too much. My guess is destiny. Graceful lightning. Sarama <laughs> Rose Chew. Wonderful. There is much to learn. Mental training goes by quickly when they are in the mines. It's like as if time slows down for everybody when they are in their minds. Anyway, meanwhile, about an hour later. About on about near some tough terrain nearby Giovanni's gym and base near, at the Destiny Cave. Son, Chris, Sancho, and I are still in our, our, uh, talking to each other. Hmm. Well, thanks, Sancho, for helping me learn my new powers: electric attacks, hyper beams, and my speed. And no sweat pop. Hmm. But I just can't figure out what I need to do to change back to normal. Ah, don't worry too much about it, pop. We'll figure out eventually. Sanchi bops me on the chest and swing. Whoosh! I transform back. Wow. Huh. All I did was touch a chest mark. He changed back. Well, you know. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Sanchi. <laughs> At about that time, within Walter's mind, his training becomes complete. Your training is complete, West Lie. Now, be gone. Go destroy Christian. Whoosh! Teleport to about near where Christian, where Sancho and I are. Okay, now I find my rival. Where is he? Ah, uh, there he is. He recognizes me right away. And then nearby, Sir, Sir, Nicole slash Sarama Rosechu was teleported nearby. Hmm. The queen said I'd find him around here somewhere. But without her not realizing it yet, he, has, he says, as Walter says, All right, Chris. Get ready for a barbecue. <sighs> Fire blast. No ways off, Sarama notices. I wonder where... What the? Hmm. Well, and Sancho and I were just finishing our conversation. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. Hmm? Sancho notices the fire blast coming in. Papa, look out! Whoosh! Dashes me out the way as the fire blast lands on the ground. Wow. That was a... Wow. What a blast. Thanks, Sancho. That's okay, dude. I saw that. That guy fired on that man down there. Oh my gosh, that's Chris. Well, thank God it's science you saved him. But who? And, and Wesley realizes his miss, and he's like, he jumps down towards them. I'll get him this time. Wesley jumps really high, and then comes cur and curls up into a, into his sphere form, sphere position. And and comments down towards me and Sanchu. What the? Sanchu, run! You don't have to tell me twice, but during the Stone Age? 
Boy, you really need to tell those cavemen twice. <laughs> Run from the dinosaur! And we got out of the way just in time as uh, he hits the ground. Lands about a few feet, few ways down. We both look back and notice that he went in. And then he jumps back out safely. And Sarama is like thinking, wow, this is getting tense. And then we take a look, then me and Wesley, we take a look into each other's eyes. Hmm. And we're thinking, but then Sarama wants to hear in the conversation, I'll use my braces power to hear those two. And I'm like, I see. As described in the prophecy, I'm thinking. And then I'm saying, I'm guessing that you also have a secret identity. If so, who are you really? Okay. Replies Wesley, I'll give you a clue. Your friend sat on my lap and you had a look on your face. No. Walter Grisby. You are correct. <gasps> oh no, not Walter Grisby. I don't believe this. <laughs> Who do you think you are for attacking us? I am your rival. <laughs> then we're launched into our, into our conversation of argument. Okay, I'll admit... That, that I was jealous of you because you get to spend so much more time with Sarah than I do. I had an angry look on my face. And he has a smirk. Yeah, whatever. My ancestor of the Wasabi clan wanted to rule the world. And the only way to do that, and I continue on with the thought, oh, but I only felt jealousy because I cared a lot about her. Yeah, the reason I kept on inside me for all this time was that I wanted her to be happy, all things considered. And he and then Wesley continues on saying, was to steal the Cherokee and clown from your lousy Cherokees for centuries. We have, after all, I was after all, I was better feelings. And if she feels happier with you than I am, happy knowing that uh, we've been lifelong friends, you know, the Wasabi Clan. But the Wasabi Clan cried trails of tears because we were never able to kill the king of the Cherokee Clan to get the marvelous Cherokee and clown. And then I finish up by saying, hey. I'm pouring out my I'm pouring out my heart about how I care for my sweet friend, my best friend, my lifelong friend. Why are you dig into your pond of greed? Well, enough talk. Time to fight. And he comes launching, launching at me with a punch, like a mock punch. Uh, he's coming fast. I need to transform. And I don't have much time. I laid this card down. Activate magic card. Activate trap card. Magic cylinder. He puts his hand in one cylinder and out the other. It bops him on the head. <laughs> and then I transform. Electric hedgehog power. And then, Sir, and then Sir Emma realizes, thinking, Oh, he was just for me? Oh, that's so sweet. Ta-da! Hey, Wes. Hey, Walt. Are you okay? How many life points do you have left? <laughs> he launches a flamethrower. Wow, I got I got out of the way, but he cinched my tail. I have to actually stop dropping roll to put out the flame. You burned my tail! Now it's personal. So I give him a mock punch of my own. Bam! And he gets me with a mega kick. Wham! I miss a curse of high attack that only I can execute. Then he hits me with a sky uppercut. And he lands me on the ground. <laughs> How many life points do you have left? <laughs> and then he takes the crown away from me. Away from my possession there. And I had it. How many life? Thanks for the crown, dude. That's it. I can't take it anymore. And Sarima is about to launch a bow from her arrow. An arrow, arrow from her bow. And Walter's saying, now it's time to say goodbye, Chris. Walter Grisby! Where does non sinker tree come from? And he's pinned to a tree. He drops a crown. And then nearby, I'm thinking, I noticed oh, what's happening. She's saying, wow, she must be the lady of peace as described in the prophecy. To be continued in the next video. Stay tuned.